Hello my friends and welcome back. I'm Mohsen and I want to show you how to use Retrofit library to manage your HTTP requests. In the previous videos, we learned together how to use uh, get uh, HTTP request and we use the website JSON placeholder as the fake RESTful API. And in this video, I will show you again how to use the slash post endpoint, but this time with the uh, post annotation to send the data from the device to the server. So technically, when we want to send the data to the server, we are using the post annotation. Uh, unfortunately, this is a fake uh, API, as I told you, and we cannot see our data uh, in a form of JSON like this, uh, but uh, the server will send us some data after receiving our data. Uh, in the response, we have the text that we have sent to the uh, RESTful API and also we will receive a code. Here we have the list of the uh, HTTP status codes in the Wikipedia and we assume to receive uh, 201 uh, which is uh, by the definition of the Wikipedia the request has been fulfilled uh, resulting in the creation of a new resource. So whenever uh, a new resource will be created based on the request, based on the text or any kind of data that we are sending to the server, we will receive this code. So we assume that uh, we will receive this. So we should display this code after post and uh, again we will see our text, our data. If you are ready, hit the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, hit the bell button to be aware about the new videos and let's get started. Here I'm using the previous project that uh, we used uh, to manage the get request. Uh, for those who haven't watched uh, the previous videos, I'm going to briefly explain the structure of this project. Here in the build.gradle we have these uh, dependencies for the retrofit and for the uh, coroutines in the layout we have a progress bar and four text views we have a data class uh, that holds uh, this data for us we have four variables uh, body id title user id and uh, we have an interface that holds uh, the method and uh, the annotation is here and uh, as you see the response will goes to this uh, class we have object utils that holds the base url for us and here uh, we have retrofit instance and you see the codes okay in the main activity that was the uh, merge point we used this code to display the received data in the text views. Uh, today also we will receive the data, so we are going to use this part of the code, but this part will be changed. So here I'm going to create a function, call it uh, post request. And uh, yeah, I'm going to comment this whole part, but uh, we will use this part later. Okay, uh, let's go to the interface and first start with the post. So at post and we need first to import it then the endpoint which will be a slash post then a suspend function call it create post 
And here we need another annotation. Body and uh, it will be the user and then here the response again goes to the user data class we are done here let's go to the main activity okay here global scope dot launch dispatchers dot io okay uh, here we have created this value called response and in the try catch block so i'm going to copy this part Now here, instead of this method, instead of this function, we are going to use dot create post. But here, uh, we have to pass the data that we want to send to the server. So I'm going to create, I'll call it user equals to user the user class and uh, here first the body so new body then uh, the id this id uh, here we have two ids this ID will be created automatically by the server, so we don't need to pass anything. We can uh, leave it uh, null, and as this ID, uh, we will send something to the server, a random number. So here I'm going to write null. Then the title. new title and then uh, the id it can be maybe 23 and uh, here let's make it new level and then we are passing this user here now we need to check again uh, if the response is successful and it has a body and display the data uh, inside the text views so i'm going to copy all of those stuff yeah if the response is successful we are getting everything here and uh, something else i need a snack bar here binding the root then the text will be dollar sign uh, response dot code and then the snack part dot length in the here dot show okay the code will be displayed in a snack bar and uh, the receipt data will display in the text views so i think uh, we are done here let me close it okay let's check it on the emulator okay 
Okay, the code is 201. The ID is uh, 101, created automatically by the server. The user ID is 23 that uh, we have sent to the server here, 23. Uh, the title is new title and the body is new body. Again, the same thing that we have sent to the server. Okay. Uh, that was everything about the uh, post request uh, when the server accepts the uh, JSON type file. Uh, here we have the simple data and here in the retrofit instance we use this uh, JSON converter factory to uh, change the type of the data to the JSON and passing it to the server. Now assume uh, some of the uh, assume the case that some of the servers doesn't accept the JSON file. For example, they are accepting HTML. Uh, so there is another way to manage the post request. Let's try that one to see how we can send the data to a server that doesn't accept JSON file. Uh, again, let's go to the uh, API interface and create another function i'm going to create a suspend function and call it create url post okay here we need again post annotation and on the top of it, we need uh, for URL encoded. Again, the response will go to the user class. But here, we are not using this uh, data class to send the data. Directly, we are uh, sending the data as a URL uh, in the function here we need uh, our variables here by annotation field so I'm going to call the first one user ID and then user ID with the type of integer and then the rest of the variables here i'm going to change the names as well okay okay let's go to the main activity and here we have created uh, this uh, value this variable so we don't need it i'm going to comment it and here instead of this user i'm going to pass the data just like 23 as the user id uh, here i should change the function okay user id then url title and then url body okay uh, the rest will remain the same let's check it on the emulator Uh, oops, we have a problem. Um, let me check. Something is wrong here. Oh, here. Uh, I forgot to write the uh, endpoint. So, again, a slash 
Plus. And now I think everything is done. Let's check it again. Okay. ID, user ID, uh, URL title, URL body, and code 200 more. Okay. Uh, that's great. And everything works like a charm. That was everything about the uh, post request. If you have any comment, any question, please write down below in the comment box and I will be so happy to answer to your questions. But uh, please, if you haven't subscribed the channel, subscribe the channel and hit the bell button to be aware about new videos. Uh, I was checking the, the status of my channel and I saw that uh, only 20% uh, of the viewers of the channel has subscribed the channel and the rest nothing so please subscribe to the channel to support me and give me energy to make uh, more videos for you thank you very much have a good time bye bye